everybody it's rain and today I'm going to show you how to spin on a drop spindle I have some hand combed Rommeldale otherwise known as CVM wool and that's what I'm going to be using today it's very soft beautiful this one has quite a short staple length so I'll show you what that means as we go along All right, first you want to pre-draft your fiber and that's just lightly pulling it. Remember your staple length. As you can see, my staple length is quite short. It's about two, two and a half inches. So I'm just thinning it out. And this again is called pre-drafting. If you get commercially processed topper roving, it's going to be about the width of your wrist. So you're going to want to thin it out some. It'll definitely help. I have two different drop spindles. The first one on top is greater than one ounce. That's the one I'm going to be showing you today. And the small one here is for very, very fine yarns and it's under one ounce. It's about 0.4 ounces. So this one is, I believe, 1.8 ounces and I got both of these from Amazon. Take your pre-drafted fiber, hook it through the loop. Normally yarns are spun Z-twist for the singles, which we're going to be doing now. This is going to be the singles and S-twist to ply. Z-twist is clockwise. So if you want to spin your singles in the normal Z-twist, you want to spin it clockwise. And you just add a little bit of twist. Now don't worry about if it's messy in the beginning. You don't want to worry about probably the first foot or so of your spinning, maybe a little more. Just add a little bit of twist and you want to pinch at the top to keep your twist from traveling into the rest of your fiber. As you can see, I'm pinching as I go and don't let that twist go into the fiber. So you want to pinch, give it a spin. Let go of your pinch and pinch at a new spot at the top as you pull out. Let go of the bottom, pinch at the top, let go of the bottom. Keep your tail out of the way because it will get wrapped up. Pinch at the bottom, pull through, let go. Just pinching it and letting the twist go into the fiber in a controlled manner. And when it gets too low, you want to find the notch in the side of your spindle. Stick it in that notch. And we're going to wind it on. You want to always keep your tension while you're doing this. Keep the yarn taut that you've just created because you'll get twist backs and it'll get all messy if you don't. Find your notch again, leaving about five or six inches, and put it through your hook. I'm going to show you the park and draft method. You want to hold your pinch at the top, and then spin it and park it between your legs or under your arm, and then draft out some fiber, and let the built up twist travel up into the fiber. You pinch at the top at a new spot, and then let your twist travel up, and then give it a spin, and park it again. You're building up twist. Hold your pinch and then draft some fiber and let it go. Pinch it a new spot, pull it out, and let it go. And that's the park and draft method. This method may be a little bit easier for you if you're not comfortable yet letting it drop. Alright, here's a more close up view. I'm going to show you the secret of how to drop spindle, at least my secret, that makes it very easy. So as you can see, when you're pulling, you want to twist back the twist a little bit. And I promise this will make it so easy for you. Twist it back and then pull. Twist it back and pull. And it's almost like the yarn spins itself when you do this. Twist it back and then pull out. See how I'm twisting it back with my right hand? It'll be on the left side of your screen. But you just twist out a little bit and pull. 
give it a spin and as you can see twist out pull twist out pull and it pulls the same consistent amount of fiber out each time as you can see I'm pretty consistent there in that single give it a spin untwist it and pull untwist and pull untwist pull that's all you do that's my secret to keeping it consistent and it's almost like it spins itself it's almost like magic when you pull out the same amount of fiber each time and you don't really have to worry about the point of twist or anything like that you just twist back a little bit pull out gently and it'll pull the same amount each time because you're letting the twist come into the fiber just enough to where it'll grab the same amount each time and I believe that's the secret to consistent spinning and of course if you're not going for consistency you can always do it a different way I'll have other videos about how to spin art yarns and thick and thin yarns and all that coming soon show you that a little more see it just pulls the same amount of fiber out each time and if you spin it on your leg like that you get a lot better spin okay now here's some troubleshooting for you if you get too bulky of a spot like this you want to untwist it on both sides untwist on both sides and just give it a little gentle tug and it'll even itself out and then you let your twist come back into the fiber. Now, say you're spinning, spinning along, and you pull too thin. Oh no, my fiber broke. And we also broke at a long point where we have a lot that needs to be twisted on and it doesn't have enough twist in it to make a nice strong single. So you take the part that's nice and fluffy and you lay it back into your fiber supply. Just overlap them, just like this. Lay them together, it's that simple. And now we need to add more twist to the rest of the yarn that doesn't have enough twist in it. So what I like to do is just wrap around my hand, just like this. And then you wanna add some twist to that single so that it makes it nice and strong and it's even with the rest of it. Unwind a little more from your hand, hook it back on, add a little more twist, let it add a little more twist, and then wind that part on. Hook it back, add some more twist, unwind from your hand, add some more twist. And then as you can see, we're coming to the point where it is, where it was broken at. And you won't even be able to tell. There we go. And just draft out your fiber, pull out. It's like it never even happened. See, you can't even tell where it broke. And now, there's the tail end getting caught in your fiber. It happens to me every time. You just let it untwist itself and it'll come right out. Here's my singles. I'm going to show you how to end it. If you're wanting to just make a sample like I'm doing or you can add more. You hook it through your notch and then the way I do it, I just wrap it around my hook several times nice and tight all the way to the very end and it'll stay on there, just like so. Well, that about does it for spinning on a drop spindle. I'm gonna show you another video on how to ply, and give me a like, subscribe. If you wanna see more, I'm gonna be posting every week. Follow me on Instagram, Facebook. Share this with your friends, I'm just getting started, if you like this content. Thank you so much for watching, bye-bye.